What's up guys, it's Mike with Six Pack Shortcuts. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about three tips to help you eat less. And these tips are gonna have nothing to do with uh, motivation or drive or you know different ways to help you stick to it. Okay, none of that because you can also eat less by just eating less and starving. And that sucks, nobody wants to starve, right? So these tips are actually gonna be helping you lower your appetite and it's gonna trick your stomach and trick your body into feeling that it's full so you don't want to eat it anymore, okay? And that's gonna help you eat less and get six-pack abs. All right, so let's get to it. So the one thing I want you to remember is imagine your stomach is like a balloon, okay? It expands and it deflates. Deflates? Deflates, okay. So it deflates like a balloon. So when your stomach expands, it sends a signal to your brain and tells you, I'm full, right? I bet everybody has experienced that. And then vice versa. When your stomach is flat or deflated, it sends a signal to your brain going, feed me, right? I'm hungry. So the whole trick is to go ahead and trick your stomach and get your stomach to expand without stuffing it with a whole bunch of calories. Because your stomach is not going to know the difference between a pound of water or a pound of butter. Which one's better? So what are you going to do? You might as well trick it and give it the pound of water, right? Don't choose the butter. All right, so let's go to tip number one, which is exactly that. You wanna drink two glasses of water before every meal. All right, two glasses is a lot, but I've actually a lot of times drink two, up to two glasses, just chugging them down. Why? Because it expands your stomach and allows you to trick your stomach into being full before you even actually eat that first meal or eat that, eat that meal. So this way, you're just naturally going to eat less. And a lot of times you're going to find that after you drink a water beforehand, you're going to feel like you're going to almost feel like you're stuffing yourself, like you're trying to force yourself to eat. Okay? And that's a good thing when you're trying to lose weight because you're just going to eat less. But if you're a skinny guy and you want to gain weight, skip this video <laughs> because you want to do the whole opposite. You want to eat more. So keep that in mind, okay? Drink two glasses of water or as much water as you can. All right, so tip number two. You wanna go ahead and eat foods that have more water content inside of them. And a good example of them would be, let's say it's going with uh, dry fruit or whole fruit. Dried mango or real mango? Of course, whole fruit. Go with the whole fruit. It has more water in it, okay? So it's gonna help fill you up a lot more. Dry fruit's exactly the same like whole fruit. They just Dried it all up, okay? No more liquids in it, but the calorie count, the sugars, all that stuff is still the same. Okay, so go with something like that. Another thing would be to go with anything like salads from like lettuce, uh, carrots, uh, cucumbers, um, any of the stuff, the filler stuff that they put in salads, also really good because again, it has more water in those foods. So that water is gonna help fill you up. Okay, tip number three. You wanna eat foods with a lot of fiber in it because fiber does two things. Number one, it slows down the speed of food that breaks down into your stomach, okay? Slows it down, so this way it stays in your stomach a lot longer, which means you feel full a lot faster. If you eat stuff that doesn't have a lot of fiber, it goes in your stomach, it goes right out, and you feel hungry again, and then you just want to eat more, okay? And number two is when you combine fiber, foods with a lot of fiber, and then you're drinking your water, now the fiber absorbs it all, kind of like a sponge, and now it's going to really hold a lot of that water in, which makes you feel full a lot longer and you're gonna find you're gonna to tend to wanna to eat less. Okay, so make sure to eat a lot of foods with fiber. Beans, uh, vegetables, and fruits are all really good fiber sources. Uh, whole wheat, whole wheat is also a very good fiber source. All right guys, one extra tip, okay? Tip number four, all right? You wanna go ahead and replace a lot of your starches or a lot of your carbs with a little more protein, okay? Now I'm not saying to cut out carbs all together and go with an Atkins diet because I tried cutting out carbs before and I just get super tired, super drained, and your workouts suck. But cutting carbs out from the late afternoon to nighttime, if you are working out in the daytime, is actually really good. So here's the reason why. Carbs naturally, no matter what time you work out, but carbs in your body break down faster than protein does. It breaks down faster, it gets digested, it gets absorbed faster, which means if you eat more carbs, or if you, if you eat a lot of carbs, then you're always gonna be hungry because it breaks down super fast. So what you can do is if you lower the carbs by a little bit and add in a little bit of protein to it, protein actually slows down the breakage of carbs if you combine it with carbs. 
protein, it, it breaks down a lot slower in your body, which means you can be fuller longer. Now, not only that, of course, you know, protein does help with building muscle and a whole bunch of other stuff in your body, but as far as controlling your appetite and helping you eat less, I bet you didn't know that though, right? Protein will help you eat less, okay? Combining it with your carbs. So don't worry about cutting out all your carbs. Personally, for me on that, I usually eat carbs in the daytime, okay? Probably my first three meals I have carbs in, and then my last two, I just cut it out completely and I eat protein and vegetables. Why? Protein breaks down slow, vegetables got a lot of fiber in it and has some liquids in it. You combine the two, it's perfect, okay? So hope these tips help. They're definitely gonna help with controlling your appetite, helping you eat less. Leave the comments below, tell me what you think, try it out. For more workouts and nutrition tips, check out sixpackshortcuts.com. See you guys in the next video. Peace.